There we go. Look at us and our bad lumberjack and self. Uh, you know, bad being the keyword. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Farm Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to plant our field with grass, and then depending upon how our time goes, we might get started with some logging on the property. But hey, if you guys find yourself enjoying this video, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And yeah, so let's get started here. Um, So we're going to go into the farm shop here. It is October the 3rd, too, by the way. I did sleep. And <clears throat> excuse me, uh, there aren't there are no contracts. I uh, want you guys let me know in the in the comments though that because I have seasons turned on, that the contracts don't come up until you know there's more actual field work that needs to be done, which does make sense. And I started, I started kind of thinking maybe that was the case. So, um, I think I think the best way for us to work with that, without changing our initial game settings, which I don't really want to do. I want this to be. You know, I'm going for realism here as, as w within reason <laughs> uh, is, I guess, you, you know, I, I can either reduce the number of days per month. We're, we currently have three days per month and or just sleep more frequently, you know, to pass time in order to, um, <clears throat> you know, get those contracts available to us when we don't have any of our own work to do. As time goes on and we have more and more of our own work to do, or, you know, get more fields, a bigger farm, that sort of thing, that'll become less and less important. But right now. It is really kind of our primary source of income. Okay, so let's go into the shop here. Uh, what we want to do is get ourselves a cedar. And I think uh, we're just going to get the least expensive one since we don't have a huge field. And we want to save money as much as possible. So we're going to grab this guy. Oh, uh, we do want to make sure that the little grass icon is down there so it'll handle grass seed. And uh, yeah, let's lease this. It's going to cost us 1700 bucks. Well, actually, you know what, though? Hold on a second. This will cover... Uh, three meters, and that does three meters. Okay, so both of these do three meters, so that one would do four meters. It would save us a little bit of time. And this, I think, is just an extension tank. Anything beyond here is just going to get more and more expensive. So what is the difference in leasing this? Okay, so we're talking 1700 bucks versus... 2500 bucks for again one more meter nah let's just go with the little one let's just go with the little one um this one holds more seed i think that's mainly the difference between these two and we are going to need some seed i don't know how much seed we're going to need for that field we're going to start off with one bag and if uh, this isn't enough, we'll come and get more. And the nice thing about the seed, too, is um, the way that it works for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> to, you know, to keep things, you know, simple, I guess, in the game, you just buy one bag of seed and it's and, and then when you're on your um, machine, you choose which seed it's going to be. And it's just making it a little simpler but in reality, of course, we would be buying actual grass seed. So we'll just pretend that that's what we're doing. Okay. Anyway, let's buy this. There we go. Okay. So we got our cedar and our seed, and I think that's all we need to get our grass planted. Okay. So let's um, hop on into our tractor here. Go get our implements hooked up. <clears throat> I don't know if we should have a front weight with this or not. Let's just see. If, if I have trouble steering, then we'll have to come back and get a front weight. And we might be close enough to load the seed right now. Yes, we are. Okay, so let's fill the seeder up. Very cool. Oh, wow. We can't, <laughs> we can't even fill the whole thing up with this bag. Okay, and then... To change the seed, we press Y. So if you look in the lower right-hand corner by my speedometer, you can see right now it's set to wheat. So we want to cycle this through until we hit grass. There we go. Okay. And it tells us in the upper left-hand corner that we have selected grass seed. Very good. Okay, so let's get rid of the help menu and head on over to the farm and get some grass on the ground. Okay. 
This will be, like I said, our first time planting in Farming Simulator. Lot, there's going to be lots of first times in our Greenhorn uh, season here. But I, uh, I definitely see myself have you know doing a season two, and then in, in season two we will no longer be a rookie. I don't know if we'll be a pro, but at least we won't be a rookie. <laughs> okay, so let's get in position here, right about there, I'm guessing. And uh, so unfold. Okay, that's it. I guess so. Turn on. Lower. All right, here we go. Okay. Get the cruise control set there. As we are done seeding our field that was pretty easy uh, definitely one of the easiest uh, implements to operate I think now, of course anything that's just a square in the back is pretty easy to operate um okay so here's what I think we need to do let's um, fold it up turn it off and actually before we leave I want to check the field and make sure that we didn't miss anything because we did miss a, a couple of spots when we did the cultivating and stone picking and um so oh you know what though i guess the cedar finished out the cultivating so we're good to go there so we just need to look for grass um in here poplar olives da, 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 corn oat wait how come it's not showing grass oh here we go okay grass So it looks like there's one tiny piece on the corner that we missed, but not even worth the calories for that. Okay, that looks good, man. That looks good. All right, let's return the cedar. 
and then go on to the next thing, which is going to be some logging. We're going to cut the trees on this property. Maybe not all of them, but the ones that are seriously in our way, they're going to have to go. Plus, we'll get a little bit of a logging experience out of the deal, too. Okay, now we still have 56% of this thing full. Is there a way to transfer it back to the bag? Let's take a look at the help menu. So there's refill cedar, which we don't want to do. Oh, unload. Okay, so if we do I. Oh, <laughs> it puts it down in a pallet. Doggone it. Why didn't it put it in the bag for us? Okay, well, I guess that's what it did. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and drop this guy off. And we'll return the cedar. Get a little closer there. Okay. Least items, cedars return. Thank you very much for your service. It was much appreciated. All right. Awesome, guys. We have a field planted with grass. Feels good. It feels good. We accomplished something very important. Oh, you know what? We didn't look at what's for sale today. What is for sale today? That's the same flatbed that we currently have. Look at that. Uh, what is this? This is a header for a forage harvester. Okay. And weren't these two things in there yesterday? I think they were. Yeah, they were. Okay. Oh, there is one other thing. Look. Ooh. That's a, that's a large tractor. Can go up to 415 horsepower. But we cannot afford it. Okay. We'll keep our eyes on stuff like that, though. And as our money starts to come in, you know, uh, We'll be on, keep, keeping our eye out for it. That's what I just said. <laughs> okay, let's go into here. Uh, we want to go to tools. So uh, we're going to need, for logging, we're going to need a chainsaw. And, I mean, they all cost the same. So let's go with the steel. Why not? Okay, so we got ourselves a steel chainsaw. Scroll the mouse wheel or press 1 or 2 on the keyboard to switch chainsaws. What? Oh, that's if I... If I had more than one? Wait a minute. Are you saying that I have... Oh. Nice. Switch hand tool. Okay. I guess I just carry that in my back pocket until I'm ready to use it. I must have some big pockets. All right. That's awesome. Okay. Let's... um. Let's go to front loader tools and we're going to want to get this um, uh, log fork here. Now, is that going to work <clears throat> on our loader? I'm, I think so. Are, aren't these all pretty much universal or does some of them have to be? Oh, no, it should because we, we've been using this Albut stuff. That didn't sound good. <laughs> Oh, man. Moving right along. Yeah, we've been using that brand uh, on that thing. So, yeah, it should work fine. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that came out of my mouth. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, this this would seem to indicate, too, that, yeah, that we can use um, in different loaders with it, too. Okay, so we're just going to – let's just buy it. I mean, it's not that expensive. Well, actually, though, do we want to buy it? I don't really plan on doing a lot of logging in this series. I would like to do a lump, a, a logging series, or at least a series with a lot more logging in it. Um, I don't know, man. I think we probably should get this. This, you know, we we may not need a, this a whole lot right now, but we are going to need it later on. So, uh, yeah, let's just lease this. Let's just lease this. I don't think we should buy this. Okay. So that, and it's only going to be 153 bucks, but you know what we are going to do though? Um, we are going to buy this and we need this to transport that seed bag back to the base anyways. There we go. We are now the proud owner of some forks. Very good. Now, the other thing we're going to need is a stump remover. So we want to go to forestry equipment and... Let's see. What is this? This is a transporter. This vehicle can transport tree logs. Nope, that's something we want. Forestry mulchers can be used to remove tree stumps and bushes. Oh, yeah. You know what? We could use this to take 
out a few of the bushes that are kind of in the way on our property too. So yeah, let's lease that. Um, definitely leasing it. We're not buying it. And that's going to cost us $12.49. Beautiful. Okay. I think we're all set to uh, try our hand at some logging here. So let's go ahead and hop back in air tractor. We'll turn the lights on until it gets just a little bit brighter out. And we need, oh, we don't have our front end attachment. So we're going to have to get that. So let's take the, yeah, I guess we'll just have to, we'll take the mulcher back to the farm. We'll get our front loader attachment and then come back and get the other stuff. Look at that sexy seated field, man. I love it. Okay. I think this is actually a front attached device, isn't it? Okay. Well, let's just put it over here by our mower. Perfect. Okay. Now we'll get our front loader attachment. Beautiful. Okay, let's get our forks first. And what we're going to do is move those that way. And we're going to just hook into our seed bag here. Make sure we're nice and lined up. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna. We'll have to come back. Probably make two more trips to get both of those. All right. Let's take our seed around the back for now. We don't have a shed at present, so we're just gonna pretend that. I don't, I can't, I don't think I can get it under the gazebo, or even if I can, it's going to be a pain to get it back out. So we're just going to pretend that we put a, um, uh, a tarp over it. You know, I'm thinking about hiring Larry the Landscaper and Noob Farmer Cleanup Service to remove some of the shrubs around the house, too, which, of course, we pay, we can, we would pay for. So I guess I don't want to get that right next to the house yet, either. So where are we going to put this thing? Let's go. Oh, I know what. We'll put it next to the the rear mower, because there is. I don't think there's anything we need to do over there. For now. Okay. After we get Larry the landscaper and noob farmer cleanup. Uh, service to fix stuff around the house then I'll, I'll reposition some of this stuff so it's a little neater and we might even look at buying a shed too I don't know we'll see it, that's kind of a, at this point a nice to have as opposed to an absolutely have to have this kind of thing just again for where we're currently at in this playthrough all right let's go get the pallet of seed and then we'll come back and get the log log grabber thing Now, I'm assuming we can widen our forks, right? Yeah, okay. We're going to have to do this. Oh, they're sticking up. That's why. I was going to say, I thought I had that all the way down. There we go. Okay, and then we'll come back from the log grabber for the log grabber. All right, guys, we are back. Um, so uh, the first thing I guess we should do is 
set up our trailer. Uh, I have it in the back 40 here. And it might actually be okay where... Well, no, this, this business is going to be in the way. I wonder if Larry the Landscape guy can remove that. I'm not even exactly sure what this thing is. Is it a, like a water source? Because if it's a water source, then we wouldn't want Larry the Landscape guy to remove it. Yeah, I'm not sure. If you guys know in the comments, let me know what that is. I won't mess with it until I, I know what it is. Until I hear back from you guys. Um, okay, so, yeah. We, we're going to be dealing with long, gangly logs. So we need plenty of room to get around this thing. So we let's go put it in out in a little bit more open area. We'll go over this direction. Maybe right here. It's probably good, right here. Okay, so yeah, let's drop this off here. Whoops. Now, the very first tree that has to go is the one up in the front. And it kind of kind of pains me to get rid of it because it's a nice looking tree, but it's always in my way when I'm working this corner of the field. And uh, it's just a big pain in the neck. So what we're going to do is take that one down first. All right. Yep. Sorry, tree. But we got to do what we got to do. So, how do we, how do we do this? Do we have to crouch? All right, let's look at the help menu. Activate hand tool, switch hand tool. Oh, oh, oh cool, okay. So, let's crouch and rotate. We want to get a nice low cut here. It's about, looks like that's about as low as it's going to let me go. All right, here we go. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Houston? <laughs> I think it's caught on the billboard. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, all right, let's, <laughs> let's see if we can push it over. That's funny, man. All right, let's bring this all the way up. I want it to fall that way along the strip. Let's get in a little closer here. There we go. Timber. Nice. You know, we could probably put the mulcher on the back of this and use it that way. Um, well, here, let's, uh, let's do this next. Okay, so what I think we have to do is just go along... How do we trim the branches off of this thing? I've seen other guys just walk along the trunk and they just come off. Oh, you know what? I'll bet that's a mod. That's probably that lumberjack mod. Looks like we're going to have to do this legit. That's okay. I just want to make sure it's on the branch and not the main trunk. Right there. Can we get both of these at the same time? Nice. That's awesome. Okay, let's crouch and rotate. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. We don't want to... Okay, let's not crouch. Let's, yeah, let's just hit it like this. Is 
All right, get this back up to there and right. Come on, my guys. Doggone digital movements. There we go. Okay. Can we get both of these? At some point, it's no longer going to be worth it. Oh, can we not cut that piece now? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I think it, maybe it's where the texture changes. That's the part of the tree that's no longer technically a log. Is that what's going on there? All right, I had the thing earlier. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I did to get it earlier, but it's not registering now. Okay, well. Oh, uh, oh, there we go. Okay. I guess we cut it right there. Okay, is this branch still attached or? Yeah, I think it is. So we want to get. Let's rotate it this way. There we go. All right, I think we've removed all the branches. And no, wait, did we we just cut a different branch, didn't we? Doesn't want to take that branch off. Huh. We turn it this way. See, that wants to get the whole trunk, not just the little branch. So let's get at it like this. Wow, this is kind of a pain in the neck, man. Oh, we need to roll our field. I was wondering about that. Okay, we'll 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 do that in the next episode. Now we can get that little chunk off, I suppose. Yeah, it is not letting me get to this branch. I don't know why. And it doesn't seem to let you cut it up higher either. Okay, well, what we're going to do then is... Here, we could trim this off a little more. And maybe this just trying to figure everything out here as usual all right well let's grab the log as it is i mean we we might be able to just keep that front branch on there lower that down the twister opens the claw and that's just the tilt. Okay. Pretty much standard front loader movements. Let's bring it up a little bit till we get in position here. There. I'm going to raise that back up a little more just because I don't want to accidentally gouge my field. There we go. Okay. No, no, no. I just hit the... <laughs> oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. Put those back up. Put that down. I 
just kind of in a weird spot here is the problem. I think the other problem too is that that fence and billboard is causing getting in the way a bit. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness gracious. So I grabbed uh, not only the trunk, but looks like I grabbed some of the other branches too. I guess I can sell the branches too. I don't know. I'm not sure how this is going to even work. I know we could rent a chipper, but get that at the right angle. All right, now you. drop you on there. Okay. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let's hop out of here for a second. Can I lift that? Oh, I can lift those. Oh, nice. Okay. That's going to make cleaning up the little branches much easier. Well, I think. <laughs> How do I get it? There we go. Oh, I guess I still have a hold of it. Okay, let go. Um, can I pull this one out and reposition it? There we go. Oh, what did I do? Just throw it out the other side? Oh, no, it's good. Okay. Um... Okay, let's, let's just put one strap on there for now. And we're going to go pick up the rest of the branches. And what I might do is take this, the, just the first tree down by itself just to make sure that the facility is going to take all the branches too before I go to all the trouble to haul them all down there. And what we can do if, that, if they don't take them, then I guess we'd have to rent a chipper and mulch them all up. Oh, I wonder if the forestry mulcher will do that though, actually. Isn't that going to leave, like, a huge mess in the yard, though? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, this is fun, though, trying to figure all this out. Okay. So, let's um bring the this right about here. We're going to lower you down, lift you back up, and make sure the claws are fully open. Okay, and we'll pick these pieces up too. Oh man, this is a blast, you guys. Just so neat. I mean, I after a while of doing this, is it's gonna be like, okay, I'm, I'm done now. <laughs> but the first few times doing new stuff like this is just, it's cool to see how the game handles it, you know? I'm hoping the wood facility that we're gonna sell, sell at will take, just take all this stuff. Okay, I think that's everything. So let's hop in here. And we want to clamp down on everything. Get it low, raised up. And then let's get it up a little higher and back it away from the fence and the billboard thing. Yeah, again, I, I kind of hate to take that tree out. It was 
really nice, add character to the place, but it's just always in my way when I'm trying to work that corner of the field. Okay, so let's get over here. Uh, I'm going to want to back up a bit. Maybe even a touch more. No, right about here ish. Okay. Let's hop out for a second and just re-strap everything so it stays in place. Very good. All right, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to take this first tree by itself to the processing facility again, just to make sure that it'll process all of it and not just the trunk. Because what I don't want to do is go to all of the hassle to load a whole bunch of branches up just to find out I can't you know, sell them, right? Um, okay, let's bring you up. Close you. Put you down right about here-ish. That should be good. Now, where are we going? I looked at this earlier, but I can't remember where the wood processing is. Was it uh, by the bio place, biogas plant? Oh wait, no, we've got a we got a sorry, I'm I'm not doing this right. We need to look and see where where who's gonna buy this from us. Wood. Okay. So it looks like car, the carpentry place is gonna give us the most money at the moment. I'm not, you know, I'm not worried about we're not in the lumber business, so we're just trying to get rid of this stuff. We're not trying to make a profit. I mean, it'll be nice to make a little extra money, but that's not the point, so uh, but that being said, uh, the carpentry place is going to give us, <coughs> excuse me, the most uh, thing. And then if we do this, like we can tag the place. And I think that puts like a, doesn't that put like a big green beacon in the sky somewhere? Maybe we're too far away to see it. Okay, let's just look on the map and see if we can figure out where it's at. If we go here, well, none of that's going to work. Uh, carpentry. I'm just going to see if I can spot the icon for it. That's the green mill. Okay, let's... Well, you know what, though? That's not going to... Oh, is this it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, it's flashing for us. Very good. That makes things easier. Okay, so we're just... That's not very far away at all, actually. So what we'll do is we'll just... Go turn around here, hit this road, and go straight down to it. Beautiful. Okay. Let's do this. I think that one strap will hold everything in place. Actually, you know what, though? I'm sure it will because I know kind of how the game works, but let's... Let's be a little more realistic about this and oh I'm doing this all I'm doing this the hard way, man. We can do it like this. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Uh okay, where's our trail? You know what? Uh, am I gonna get stuck if I go through these trees? Hope not. Let's switch to first person view. It's right over here. Yeah, we're just going to go over the stream, I guess. Everybody okay back there? Looks like it. I've been watching a couple of different YouTubers do, like, survival series where they start on a no-man's-land type of map. That idea really appeals to me, and um, I can almost guarantee you at some point in the future, we're going to try that too. 
Okay, let's hit the road down here. Yeah, there's the there's the beacon thingy right up there. Okay. Nice. Tells us exactly where to go too. So, why don't we pull through here? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, carpentry shop. Just took out the corner of your building there. Okay. Hopefully this is adequate. So let's disconnect those and then go to the help menu. Um, select camera next to a honk. Okay, that's not giving me a cell option. Am I not quite in the right place? Or do I, oh, you know what? I wonder, do I have to unload these? I'll bet you that's what it is. I bet you have to unload it. Because, it, yeah, this isn't a, an auto unload trailer. Okay. All right, well, if that's what we got to do, that's what we got to do. So let's do this then here. Let's put the straps back on for a second so we don't lose anything. Um, yeah, I'm going to actually pull back around but be a little further out so I can get the the tractor in there. Or we might even come around this way. Uh, <laughs> whoever as many fan that is, uh, we might have to touch up their paint a little bit. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and um, drop the trailer here. Oh, hold on. I need to undo the straps. I have to be connected to it to do that. Okay, let's get in a little closer. Get that out of the way for the moment so we can see what we're doing. We might end up pushing these off the other side, actually. I don't know. Okay, now, what? Uh, 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 easy, easy there. Easy, cowboy. Oh, you know what I bet we could do? Well, let me try this first. But if it looks like I'm going to push them off, we could probably come at it from the top and grapple it that way. Yeah. Okay, here. Let's do let's do that. So we're going to bring this all the way up. Go all the way down. And we might No, we should be able to make this work, I think. Yeah, it's actually extending more, so we'll back up a little more. I don't have all of it. There. Okay. We're kind of scraping our trailer up a little bit there. Now, I don't know if I actually have a hold of those logs enough to 
lift them. Okay, can we... There we go. Look at us and our bad lumberjack and self. Uh, you know, bad being the keyword. <laughs> okay. We didn't get everything, but we got most of it. Okay, now... Uh, I can't get it up any higher than that. It looks like it's going to get caught up on the edge of the building. We've already caused enough damage at this, this guy's place. We don't want to cause any more. There we go. Okay. This isn't a very large place to be dropping logs off, man. Okay. Well, hopefully that's close enough. He's not buying him. Okay, that's not good. Um, what are we doing wrong here? Enter vehicle. What's this? Buy building? No, 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 no. We don't want to buy this. Maybe we would do something like that in a, a lumberjack-focused series. All right, this is a problem. What happens if we click on this? Oh! Oh, okay. We just have to click on that to sell it. I wonder if we could have left that on the trailer and done it that way. All right, you know what? The, uh, on the next load, we'll try that on the next load. And we have confirmed that he will buy all of it, the branches and everything. There we go. Okay. We made a tiny, 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 tiny profit off that. Actually, no, we didn't make a profit because we had to lease this stuff to do this, but that's okay. Again, the point of this, like I said, is not to make money. Not that we don't mind making money. It's just to clear off our property and learn how to lumberjack in the game. So if we accomplish those two things, then we have done what we set out to do. And maybe we'll make enough money to have a cheeseburger at Mama Joe's at the same time. <laughs>